A lot of people are struggling for sales on Etsy. Someone thinks uh, that is because of slow month and someone is trying to improve photos and branding and the rest ones just continue waiting and waiting. So, I should admit any of this strategy cannot lead to success. That is my result for the previous months. But then I said, stop! I need to change my strategy completely with the aimed actions and it's no wonder uh, my results are becoming better and better. Number of sales has increased. So now my Etsy business looks like that and I'm talking about the results for this month. Well, if you want to have the same or even better results, continue watching this video. I promise to share all my hacks and experience. Hi guys, Julia here. Welcome to our channel where we make videos about selling on Etsy. So, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you never miss new videos on how to sell on Etsy successfully. Also, on our channel we are launching a series of videos named Shop Critique, where we will review a shop and give some advice how to attract more traffic to your shop. So, if you are interested in, join our Facebook group that is devoted Etsy SEO that is search engine optimization and leave your request for a free shop critique. I will leave the link in the description below. Without further delay, let's go ahead and jump into this video. High time to start sharing my strategy and get acquainted you with my aimed actions. My task for today's video is to tell about three steps everyone can apply with his or her shop. So, it's not something extremely specific and required extra professional skills. So, as I have already said, a lot of people now are complaining uh, about slow period on Etsy. And I face these comments and posts every day on Facebook. But uh, the point is that from time to time every business should change its way and strategy. Time is changing and if you want to continue being successful and get benefit, so your obligation is to follow trends. It works this way and in case you miss this step, you will definitely drastically decrease. What I want to emphasize, pay attention to trends. Use search for this, look at what is on demand. Moreover, it shouldn't be just like, okay, it's masks, but I sell buzzes, for example, and it doesn't touch me anyway. Etsy success is for creative and entrepreneurial people. Remember this. And good news, these skills are possible to train. So, pay attention to what exactly is popular now. Also focus on styles, uh, tendency, colors, uh, slogans, info occasions that can be used to get some bonuses. And finally, look around. What do people need just right now? What is their trigger? How can you solve uh, their pain and demand with the help of your items? However, I would like to add some practical data for you to get everything even clearer. Well, you need to understand and figure out what is popular on demand. Personally, I use a Trends Plus tool from Salary, and now I suggest moving to a bit practice. So that is uh, Salary.com and I have already logged in, so we can go to services and here on the left you can see uh, tools that uh, Sellerway uh, provides to us to to use and here we need to choose Trends Plus. As you can see here we need to enter uh, keywords so uh, let it be 
this one. Okay, I'm ready and that is just random keyword that I wanted to check. So hit the button, our results are ready and we can uh, analyze what uh, we can see and find here, what information exactly we can find here. So we can uh, find uh, the name of the shop, country, uh, category, uh, titles, yep, yeah, price, total likes, and uh, average views per day, average likes per day. And according to this information, we can understand whether it is popular, whether it is on demand, and so on. Okay. We need to pay attention to a uh, number of average views per day. For example, here, oh my god, 650. To, I guess they have a lot of sales even per day because of, oh my god, reviews per day, I guess uh, bring them enough sales and it's wonderful, it's cool. Okay, here we have only 10, for example, yes, so it means that that is not really popular, I mean this one. And here you can see that there are several pages and it means that you can find a lot of variants uh, for you to understand uh, better Yeah, what uh, is on demand, what is popular. Oh, I like these. And here we have 213 views per day. Quite good, quite good. It's not like a present box, so that is purely uh, what we are looking for. I mean Tumblr personalized tumblr so pay attention that i guess we can uh, consider this being a kind of trend here we also have more than 100 views per day as you have already understood uh, your task is to analyze results that uh, trends plus provides you and you need to uh, choose mm, you need to understand and identify what is trend for now and your task is not just copy it's uh, it's not really good and effective and uh, your task is to get the idea and develop it making it even better yeah and this way uh, your item will be unique and will be even more popular than these ones that are popular now so that is the task the function of Trends Plus from Celeray. Now let's continue and here is my second step. Make great SEO. You know, everywhere I saw these obstacles, uh, people just do not know how to fix it effectively. And perhaps that is the most popular questions uh, on Publix. Any ideas about my SEO? But when you ask uh, people, of course, for sure, it's great to get feedback and understand different attitudes and opinions. But for me, it sounds more effective when uh, you combine pooling and survey with the, the results made with the help of uh, a specific tool like keywords from Celeray. This pool provides you the opportunity to find many variants uh, of keywords so you can choose the most working and appropriate for your niche and items. You just need to suggest an exemplary one and look through the results, analyzing what matches better. So I prepare a video guide for you, so move on. And here we need to enter keywords. I will take one from your title. Okay, let's search. And while downloading, we also hear a color guide. And uh, I need to repeat one more time that pay attention, really. It's really, really crucial and important information because of uh, these factors are very, very, very significant. So competition rate here, our target is to uh, get low competition rate and view rate. We need to uh, to find uh, keywords with at least uh, medium or high view rate. And okay, our results are ready. So pay attention that you have uh, a lot of uh, variants to use with uh, 
medium competition rate it's it's good and by the way you can uh, see that there are three pages so you can um, find more variants for you to to use and it uh, it is really important to find among these uh, results variants that will be related to your items because in case uh, you uh, use just good uh, like keywords but they will be not so effective because of they are too wide for example for for you for your items and it uh, will bring you views but not sales actually and now let's talk about the third uh, step in my strategy. Have you ever tried special offers on Etsy? It's a rather effective marketing campaign and it's really worth uh, using such a method to promote more sales in your shop. Mind here seasonal sale and be ready in advance. So just when people start uh, searching some seasonal stuff to buy, your listings should be ready and optimized. Remember also, it's always very attractive when buying several items in the shop, say three or five, a buyer can get, for example, 30% discount. Well, I shared my strategy, hoping you can have a kind of boost for your shop. Feel free to share your results in comments as it encourages me greatly. And thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments in the comment section below. Bye!